Hello fiddlers, welcome to the free tune breakdown of Blue Bonnets Over the Border. At the end of this tune, when I break it down as an air, I'm going to show you how you can turn it into a jig. Um, we're going to start with the B flat major scale because we're in um, B flat major. <laughs> so we're going to focus on lowering our finger position so that we're in tune for this song. That's kind of the big challenge for it. The melody itself is straightforward, the bowing straightforward. It's just where we place our fingers that provides a bit of a challenge. So B flat major starts with low second finger on the G string. Third finger, there's going to be a space between B flat and C. D, E flat, F natural, G, A, B flat. If you continue up the octave, C natural, D. Use your fourth finger for flat four, E flat. F natural by the nut, G natural, A, B flat. Bring it back down, A, G, F natural, E flat. B flat, A open, G, F natural, low one by the nut, E flat, D. So a visual breakdown of that, you have your low twos all across the board. So second finger is B flat, F natural, C natural, G natural, so two is low from G to E string. First finger is low from D string to E string, so you have your E flat position, so it's by the nut. There you go. E flat, B flat, F natural. So you're keeping two low, one low. And then the last thing to keep in mind is when you get to the A string, you're going to use a flat four for your E flat and a flat four on the E string for B flat. So on my fiddle, I have a seven eighths, which is just slightly smaller than a full size. And my fingers will be side by side for that flat. And my fingers will be right at the nut for a B flat, E flat, and sorry. E flat, B flat, and F natural. Um, so just check on your, it depends on the size of your instrument and how your how big your fingers are. Mine tend to be shrimp-like. So if your fingers are larger, you might end up having them closer together. If you were playing a full size, your stretch might be slightly bigger and you might not actually be touching each finger. So you're really listening in this one for placement. All right, so we're gonna start with the A section. We're starting on the B flat note. And then you're walking up to the D string. I'll do that one more time. So I played two, two, three, D, and then I played a hammer on from the B flat to the three. One, three, two, one, three, two. I'll play another hammer on from the F to the G. Jump up your octave to G on the E string. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and do that again. If anything is too quick, just pause, go back, rewind it, and listen to it again. So starting with the B flat. Upper G. Back to your B flat, same as the beginning. So your ending there is G note three, two open, two, three one, D, C. We'll do that again. take you back to the beginning that was the whole A section jump up the octave back to the low B flat B flat D Play that twice and then head into the B section. We're starting with B flat on the A string or low one. So I play a first finger block. I'm keeping one down on the A string and the E string for B flat and F natural. One, three, one, one, three, one. Hammer on to your G. We'll do that again.
then I'm going to roll down to my B flat. So let's go back to the beginning of the B part. Roll down to your B flat. You're going to end the phrase. One, two, three, two. Now you're going back to the beginning of the B section again. Now put in your ending. One, A, three, two, D. Two, three, one, D, three on G. We'll do that again. So here's the whole of the B section. take you back to the beginning. So I want to show you now how I would lilt it to change it from an air into a jig. So instead of playing I'm going to pick up those notes a little quicker. Thank you for joining me. Send me, send me a note at modelfiddler, M-O-D-E-L-F-I-D-D-L-E-R, at gmail.com for any tune requests you'd like to learn.